Welcome back, family, to the final, final level of Octahedron. And today, something a little special, something a little different. I'm actually recording this audio post-game because I needed to concentrate in the game, present game. Uh, I, I probably recorded about five or six videos before this, trying about 50 or 60 times while commentating. And I couldn't. So, ra <laughs> fucking, rather than, um, let's see. How do I word this without sounding like a crybaby bitch? Um, let's see. I can't. Um, so I'm just gonna do it. Without spending the next two hours trying to talk and play it at the same time, I decided to not talk, shut the hell up, which a lot of you probably wish I would do more often is sh <laughs> shut the hell up, but yeah, I had to turn the mic off, I had to focus, so now I get to comment on how bad I am while watching how bad I am. <laughs> so, okay, when I first played this level, um, I thought since you go up, that maybe it would be one of those levels where you have to outrun the guy, and you have to, you know, get to the top beforehand, blah, blah, blah. But this game, or this level, is unlike any other levels in the hot octahedron transfixed <laughs> fixed edition f f f f f f f and you actually have to do damage to him so you can see on the left hand side of the screen his health bar and you can see on the left hand left hand side of the screen how massive his health bar is so it takes a while so, you really have to, honestly, you, you do have to play it like 50 or 60 times in order to get the rhythm down. This game, it's all about patterns. It's not necessarily so much as a platformer as a strategy game. It really is about strategy and timing. If you don't have your timing down, I mean, you, you can kiss the levels goodbye because you're not going to beat them if you don't time it correctly. So, um, I guess my piece of advice would be to dodge everything and kill. <laughs> More specifically, um, yeah, those balls, dodge those. Those will do damage. Triangles, make sure you get underneath a block. Um, because if you get underneath a block, you can dodge them. You can't dodge them. Um, otherwise... And make sure the block that you're under is on screen. So see how the block I was under right there is on screen? Say if I were to go down, you know, a few feet. Or not like a few feet. But say if I was to go down like... Because that's relative. Uh, say if I was to go down like half the screen. So for that block right there at the top, the top center. If I were to go down about half the screen, that block would be off the screen. Uh, and you couldn't dodge the triangles with a block that's off the screen, even though we all know that the block is still there. The block has to be on the screen, regardless of if we know it's there or not. So there's the block right there, make sure you're under it, and then you can dodge the triangles. Um, this, this thing where he shoots off two, um... Two lasers at 180 degrees completely horizontal or not like horizontal because he rotates um he, he either goes clockwise or counter clockwise so you're either gonna have to go over the top of him or underneath him and then obviously don't get hit but this is the part that really screwed me over is after a while say trial 40 let's just assume i did 50 say trial 40 is when i started to get to this part like every single time so then after this section where the three static electricity bars that he's um, going on 
this would be the part that I would constantly die on. And needless to say, by looking at what's happening, what is happening on the stream, it's insanity. You have to dodge these triangles. It doesn't matter if you get hit by the tail end of the triangles, as, as you can probably see. Maybe there's an example. Like right there. Uh, I think I overlapped on the triangle, or not the triangle, the, the tail end of the triangle. Uh, r realistically, all you need to do is just dodge the tip of it. Just, just the tip. Just the tip. Avoid the tip. Just the tip. The shaft. You can diddle the shaft. Tip is the sensitive part. So we finally beat it. And you can't hear it. Because obviously, this is post audio recording. I was screaming. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Holy bleep bleep bleepity bleep. You know, fuck shit. Holy fucking bitch shit. I beat it. Insane. I can't believe... Literally the best moment of my life. Literally the most happiest moment I will ever have in my life. Children? Fuck it. I'm not even having... I don't want kids. Wife? Got too much video games on the mind. <laughs> but that... That sole moment... Would be the happiest moment... For the rest of my life. So... Post credit. What's happening? Well... If you remember... Part one... We saw that there was this alien spaceship coming down on Earth. This man, he was a normal man. He touched, the, he touched it. He touched it. Don't touch it. And then he became what he touched. He became the octahedron man. Now, this octahedron man powers thing would consume him with rage. For he was taken over with pure evil. Octahedron. We all know the triangle is the strongest shape. So when you have eight of them, you can imagine how strong the desire to commit evil is. Take strong times eight, then you get eight strongs. Eight strongs is a lot of strongs. So the desire to commit evil is strong. But he persevered. He gave it his all, that his, that his, his nindo, his ninja way to persevere, for he beat it. And this kind of sounds like the Rick and Morty song, Evil Morty. Very close, actually. This is actually very close, but, <laughs> um, that's it. Yeah, um, I know nowadays... We expect post credit scenes or whatever. Uh, I, I watched it through the whole cutscene credit thing. Uh, there's not there's not any after credit stuff. However, you do unlock a new game mode where it's like, oh, try and beat the whole game with one life. If you die, you have to start over from level one. Yeah, um, no, but thanks for asking. I appreciate it, but I'm done with this game. I never have to beat it. I never have to play it again, so I'm happy. I'm a happy fucking camper. This guy looks sad. His home is destroyed, but his his, his he know he knows he's the hero that we all need. Maybe not deserve, but we need him. He's a good guy. But thank you all for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, game on.